What a disaster. I didn't even make it through the qualifiers. How'd you do? Uh, I didn't do any better. I was beaten by that little Timmy kid. I've only ever seen him out there feeding pigeons. No clue how he got to be such a good card player. The next round's starting soon, right? Let's head over and watch the matches. I'm curious to see who will win the grand prize. Did you hear that? A grand prize! Wait, what? <gasps> Am I seeing double? Do you have two tails? Your eyes are working just fine. Yes, I have two tails. You want to pet them? Wow! Um, does it hurt when your tail splits into two? Which one did you grow first? Oh, and what do you do when they start moving around while you're asleep? Oh, well, uh... Oh, uh, sorry if those were tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. Who's that on a chatty with? Hmm. From her outfit, Paimon would guess she's probably from Inazuma. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. I'm sure you'll be growing a couple of tails of your own in no time. Huh? You think I could grow two tails as well? Sure, you're a yokai too, right? Your yokai power must be really strong if you can already take on human form. I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped out, just like that. People started calling me, uh, um, um uh, Nekomata, I think? Yokai? Nekomata? Uh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. My ears and tail are part of my cat's line bloodline. Oh, so you're not a Mondstadt yokai? Mondstadt doesn't have anything like yokai. Is this your first time here? Yep. Fortunately for me, the company I work for has been expanding, so I'm now getting the opportunity to travel to cities all over to that. Oh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you that I almost lost track of time. I'd better get going or I'll be late for my next customer. Diona of the Ketzline clan, your pickup is complete. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. Great, feel free to come hang out anytime. Hmm, do only yokai have tails in Inazuma? Service operating out of Inazuma. Huh? Is the cat still doing international business now? No, 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 no. A customer left some goods with us and arranged for Komani Express to pick them up. <laughs> That's all. I didn't mind. Whoa! I'd love to go see for myself one day. Huh. Anyway, what were you two here for again? Did you need me for something? Oh, yeah! Paimon almost forgot. Do you know anything about a Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Apparently there's prizes and stuff. A tournament? Oh, you must mean the one being organized by the Adventurers Guild. It's a pretty big event. They even had posters imported from Inazuma. But I'm busy with things here, so uh, I didn't sign up. I don't know all the details. Uh, maybe try asking my boss. Got it. Well, with any luck, we'll win some more, and then we'll treat you to some yummy food. Well, you may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest you at all? Unofficial tourney? That's right. With all the excitement surrounding the main tournament, players can hardly contain their enthusiasm. So they've set up an unofficial tourney aimed at a larger player base. You can sign up at any time and play however many matches you want. They even have pre-built decks for players to use. Oh, and the rewards are pretty generous too. Ooh, Paimon likes the sound of this. Thanks for the info, Margaret. We'll go check it out. 
<laughs> You're welcome. There are plenty of booths at the venue offering food and other fun activities, so it's definitely worth a visit. Who knows? You might even bump into some old friends there. <laughs> right. If there's nothing else you needed, I'll be continuing my walk now. <sighs> Paimon still thinks that with your abilities, winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as pie! Just imagine it! Honorary Knight defeats foes and emerges as tournament champion! The headline practically writes itself. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Whoa! Uh, who, who are you? And why the heck are you eavesdropping on us? Oh, sorry. Force of habit. I tend to keep my ears peeled at all times. Didn't even realize I was listening in. Let me introduce myself. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. That Mondstadt columnist who I mentioned earlier is a longtime favorite of the Steambird's readership. Management thought that a cash bonus was in order, so I brought it along with me. Oh, so we're gonna go meet them now? Here we are. Wait here a moment. I'll go hand over the cash. You oh, Traveler and Paimon, what brings you here? And I'm sorry, I don't believe we've... You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter from the Steambird. Your columns have been so well received by our readers lately that our management asked me to present you with this cash bonus. She got Mona's full name and title right on her first try. She really does do her homework. Ah, you must be Charlotte. Welcome, welcome. Please, just call me Mona. Gosh, this is a long way to come from Fontaine. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. It was on the way. Wow. I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. All right! Paimon can't wait to find out who the finalists are! This is the venue, huh? Seems pretty lively here! Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, what a rare surprise. Did you really come all this way just to watch Timmy and me in the final? Kaya? You made it to the finals? Wait, what about your work with the Knights of Avonius? You better not be slacking off again. Hey, come on now. That's no way to talk to a friend. Naturally, I wouldn't have considered entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. Yeah, Timmy seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. Either way, whoever wins is bound to make headlines. Wait, speaking of headlines, isn't that Charlotte's job? Huh, maybe she got caught up trying out all the delicious Mondstadt snacks. Let's go look for her. I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... Timmy! Wow, Timmy won! That's amazing! I can't wait to tell my mom. This'll make her really happy, won't it? Mom was the one who kept telling me I should join the tournament, so I'm gonna give the prizes to her. I really wish my dad could see me now. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt? The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. 
Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh, Paimon wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? They look so young. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drink! <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocation's Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. <laughs> you can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after, I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Sounds great! Thanks, Kaya! Wait! Why is everyone leaving? Did I miss it? Ah, Mika. Uh, too bad you weren't here to see it. I'm afraid that... Captain Kaya lost. Wh what? Tell me everything. What happened? Well, I don't know much about Genius Invocation myself, but I did try to follow along by listening in to what everyone was saying. Captain Kaya took out one of Timmy's character cards right at the start, giving him an early advantage. But I guess that was all part of his opponent's strategy? In any case, Timmy spent the first few rounds stocking up cards in his hand and then swung the game with a brutal offensive right at the end. <sighs> but, you know... Maybe the match was already over from the moment they flipped the coin and determined that Kaya would go second. Whew, I need a drink. Calm down, bro. Now's not the time to start drinking your sorrows away. Knowing Captain Kaya, he wouldn't want to see you upset over his loss. Hey, why don't we learn how to play too? Maybe then we'll get to play against Captain Kaya someday. <laughs> Though... I'm sure we'd lose pretty badly to him. Uh, yeah, you're right, Mika. Not a bad plan. City on the Lake teams with talent in TCG Tournament as young prodigy Bess Favonian Cavalry Captain. Hmm, this title saves face for the Knights, but lacks a little oomph. Top strategic mind of the Knights of Favonius outsmarted by Bridge Boy in five-round failure. Captain's championship hopes crushed in dazzling Dark Horse defeat? Uh, maybe I should stick with my first draft. <laughs>